What's your background there? Are you in your shoe closet? No, no, this is in my room. This is my my wife assembled this for all of her nice Louis V and all wow. this type of stuff because my kids are sleeping on on the uh, my regular set. So uh, okay, <laughs> okay. Now oh, you got twins, huh? Yes, yes, a boy and a girl. Whew. How was that? <laughs> Uh, it gets a little hectic. I had, I had a day of, of running around because they're in terrible twos mode. Oh, so man. My, man. my daughter is a lot worse than my son. My son can stay still, but my daughter really? is the one. Yeah, my daughter is the one who's the troublemaker. That is the first time I've ever heard that because I because I always hear that the guys are the real pieces of shit and the girls are the angels. No, really? no, my my daughter because she's so she's so cute and she could smile. She thinks she can get away with everything, so oh, she's yeah. the troublemaker. Of fascinating, the two. fascinating. So how long have you been? How long have you been doing? Like, do you do the wrestling stuff full time? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been doing podcasts for five years, but I've like mostly doing like wrestling media for about two years now. Two years officially, like the beginning of this month when the pandemic happened. Like I started, I reached out to like Sports Kita, started doing news writing over there. Then I was doing the video stuff for uh, Russell Talk, and then I did my own things. We got monetized on my YouTube channel, True Hill Heat, and then I did started doing news writing for Russell Talk after that and then future writing and now I do script writing for their YouTube channel so good yeah for you, that's man. basically what I do yeah good for you. <laughs> thank good. you Russell Talk I love the Russell Talk guys those are good guys yes 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 they they guys. do a lot I was actually I'm actually going to be because I'm in the UK for two more weeks so I'm actually going to be visiting the office next week are you in the UK right now yeah I, I oh I, Jesus I, been... I didn't know this <laughs> It's I've like been telling everybody best, that worst secret. Yeah. Exactly. I've been telling everybody it was a longer than expected excursion, but uh <laughs> I was only supposed to be here for maybe a couple months. I've been here for like four. Holy <laughs> shit. And it's the whole fit so the whole family's there? Yeah, yeah. My my uh missus, she bought uh her family's like place out here. So we've been putting it all together so we can rent it out when we finally leave. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Whereabouts are you? Are you in like London or, or outside of London? It's like the countryside, like Suffolk. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So it's yeah, like so the stereotype rolling hills and all that stuff? It's literally, we're in a neighborhood that like a block away from us is where they film parts of Harry Potter. Okay. So that's the reason why we're renting this out because it's kind of like a tourist area that people want to go to. They Where Harry Potter used to live, the house he used to live is like a block from us. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen one Harry Potter movie, but I, I know... <laughs> I know there it's a massive thing. I just don't know if I've seen any of them before. So it's all right. I, I used to re read the books more than oh, I you? used to. Yeah, I used to watch the movies. The, I watched like maybe the first two, and then I was like, uh, yeah, I can't go to the movies every time for three hours. And watch yeah, this. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those weird, weird things. I've probably seen the Rocky movies like 3,000 times, but Harry Potter, not once. That's just. <laughs> That's just, you know, you know, when there's a movie that, you know, so well that you can just recite the lines. Yeah. And I love Clubber Lang. I think Clubber Lang is freaking amazing. And so my friends and I were always like, just, just spewing Clubber Lang lines. You know what I mean? <laughs> just always just spewing the Clubber Lang lines. So it's like, Hey woman, Hey woman. Just love that guy. <laughs> I love it. That's how many times pretty much I've watched the Mighty Ducks movies. All three Mighty oh. Ducks movies. I've watched dozens, maybe hundreds of times. So I know like the, the lines and everything, how it's going to be said. Are you a hockey guy? No, no, no. Okay, Literally, okay. My, my, my knowledge of hockey comes down to Mighty Ducks <laughs> and Mighty Ducks Game Changers on Disney+. <laughs> Plus. So do you, th do you think that in the NHL, they're doing the flying V up the ice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, where's the, where's the fly V? Who's, who's the Bash <laughs> Brothers on each? Like when I talk to Jeremy and he's talking to about the Colorado Avs yeah. on our podcast of like, um, which one is the Charlie Conway and which one is the yeah, West yeah, Tyler? Yeah, yeah. That's all I need to know. It's like everything they do would never work in a real hockey setting. Like the the the, the whole the, the egg thing, soft hands. Come on, no, no, no. come on. <laughs> There's not egg yolks all over the ice. You know what I'm saying? It's not happening. <laughs> Can Clearly, you're at the wrong hockey arenas. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Thanks for having me. Yeah, always. Always. I, this has been fun because I've been using people, I guess, 
I don't want to say from the Fightful Networks, like Steven Larson, Steve's not really from the Fightful Network, but people that I know through Fightful. And now like people are starting to comment going, this is like the forbidden door of wrestling podcasting. It's like all these people are coming together, you know? So I love it. People have said to me, how come you don't do a podcast with Brandon about business stuff? And I say, Brandon's way smarter than I am, like with the numbers and shit. <laughs> way smarter than i am on that stuff it's why can't make you look bad you know you yeah I, I i feel like look if you if you want to talk about running a company i can do that if you want to talk about like ebitda and multiples i know what it is but i don't know it the way he does like he's he's a wizard with that stuff very yeah. true roses are red violets are blue i click the subscribe button you really should too if you like videos about real news stories that are funny stupid or weird subscribe now